dare you keep me from seeing my father? There is no reason to see him. I want to go in there. You will only upset him. I'm warning you, lady. You are threatening me? Save your breath. I will not allow you to disturb him. I will see my father if I have to kill you to do it. Eddie, this is Mrs. Butterworth. Olivia, your threats don't frighten me. Although maybe they should, after what you did to your brother. You'll use any lie to keep me from my father, won't you? I intend to protect him. Oh, this is how you do it. By filling his head with poison, lies about me. Sooner or later, he's going to know the truth. By then, you'll have him so confused, he won't be able to know your lies from the truth. But he's not going to believe you, because you're not going to have any proof. You underestimate me. He's going to have the proof. It's a matter of time. Each day, you lose some ground. If you were as smart as you want us to believe, you would leave. You would pack up and go to New York to your gallery. And leave your father alone. Well, hello, oh, ladies. It's Dr. Addison, That's isn't right. it? Yes. Hi. I hope you're going in to see my father. Well, yes, I've just been looking over his charts. The man's doing remarkably well. I just thought he should know that. I wish I could see his face when you tell him. Of course, I understand you said he could have no visitors. Well, you must have misunderstood. I didn't give any such order. You're more than welcome to go on in. Oh, wonderful. You see, Demetra, there's no reason why I can't go in and see my father. May I join you? Well, of course. I'm sure you'll just brighten your father's day. Thank you. Oh. Daddy, you look so well. Good morning. I sure didn't expect you. Well, I told her you'd welcome her. And I don't want to get in your way. I just wanted to congratulate you on how well you're doing. Nothing can keep my daddy down. Well, I'll be back in again later. In the meantime, I just want you to enjoy your daughter's visit. I know I will. Oh, by the way, um, I brought my father his favorite chocolates. It's all right, isn't it? Well, he can eat them, can't he? If he just saves me one. Oh. Okay. I thought you'd enjoy these. They're probably poisoned. Daddy. You'd like me dead, wouldn't you? Drop the devoted daughter routine, will you? I know what you really are. Well, I'm a little dense today, I know that, but I don't understand how Robert is using Robin to get closer to Anna. Anna is on Robert's mind almost all the time lately. Don't you think you're just imagining that? Not when he calls her name out in his sleep. He did that? Last night. Well, so he has a dream about his ex-wife. So what? That doesn't mean he's gonna go rushing into her arms or anything. Besides, I don't think Anna would have him. She's very happily married to Duke. I can't believe you're that threatened by this. Oh, come on. You'd be threatened by it, too. I beg to differ. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> you gotta get your mind off of Robert and Anna and onto something else. Great! I'd love to. Tell me how. Well, I think it's staring you right in the face. I mean, instead of sitting here worrying about Anna, why don't you think about how Robin moving in with Robert could help you? Tiffany, I am not going to use that little girl. I know that. I'm not suggesting you do. I'm just suggesting that when Robin moves in, that's a good opportunity for you to kind of work your way into Robert's life more. I mean, he's never been a full-time father, has he? He's going to need a little help, and who's he going to turn to? He's going to turn to you. He already has. See? It's working already. Unless you don't want to be called mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd love that. Well, then you shouldn't be afraid to let Robert know it. You should tell him all the time. Now, stop all this nonsense. I'm the one that has a real problem, not you. I gotta go find out how Colton's gonna get himself out of this mess. Okay? Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Ah, gentlemen. Mr. Shaw's attorney, Scott Baldwin, Ludlow Baker, WSP How Washington. How do you do, I trust you've explained the procedure here. Yeah, my client understands. I'm obliged to tell you that, uh, although you've confessed, you are entitled to plead not guilty because there are extenuating circumstances in this case. Yeah, I wish you would reconsider. No way. Let's just get this over with, all right? Let's go. Robert. Ask Felicia. 
much as I can. I'd worry about myself if I were you. Hello, Ruby. I'm looking for Felicia. She's right over there. And would you like a cup of coffee? Ah, uh, black, please. Come here. I hope I'm not too late. No. I'm glad you could meet me here. I didn't want to talk at home with my grandmother there, you know. I understand. Um, how are you doing? I'm over the shock, I suppose. I just... I just have to find out some answers, and I think that you can give them to me. Here's your coffee. Thank you very much, Ruth. Felicia, dear, can I get you something else? No, thank you. Okay, well, if you change your mind, you give a holler. I'll be right at the okay. counter. Yeah. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm going to go absolutely nuts if I don't find out something that's going to explain everything that happened. Have you talked to Colton? Well, not since the... <laughs> well, I didn't come here to get emotional. I just want to get some answers. The fact is, I saw him in Robert's office and we couldn't talk. Felicia, before he was arrested, did... Colton say anything to you at all about any of our session? Yeah, he, he said that he was starting to remember. He said that he was doing it for us. How could I believe him? How could he say that he loved me? How could he make love to me knowing that he killed my husband? I can only tell you one thing. He didn't lie to you. He did love you, and he still does. General Hospital will continue in a moment. Patty, I cannot leave here and let her fill your head with any more lies about me. I loved Julian. Don't you remember how when we were little, how I used to take care of him, how close we were? How could you think I would ever intentionally harm him? Let alone kill him. You wanted to take over the family. Julian was in your way. No. Daddy, I adore Julie. You're only lying to yourself now. I see the truth. I know what happened. After you got rid of your brother, Julian, you went after Duke. You were probably after Duke the night the ambush killed Julian. When Duke survived, you tried to get close to him any way you could. Lucky for him, he saw through you. Too bad I didn't. Yeah, you're my daughter. I'm ashamed to admit it. Look what she's done to him. She's helped me to see. I tell you what I think. I think you hoped I'd die in here. Then you could have it all. Well, you didn't work. Yeah. You killed Julian, but you lost Duke. And now, now you lost me. Oh, Daddy, you couldn't possibly be what you're saying. Cry. <laughs> Cry, go ahead. I have no tears to shed. You're my daughter. You'll have my protection. That's all you'll have. We share the same name and the same blood. I can't do anything about that. But you'll never share my power. I'll pledge my life to that. Ah, oh, give it up, Olivia. Get the hell out of here and go back to New York. <coughs> Leave me in peace. What you say is true. 
and Colton really does love me, then why doesn't he do or say something to defend himself? He's being arraigned today, and if he goes on trial, he'll be found guilty, and then he'll take the death penalty. Take it easy. I have to know what happened in Quebec. I can't answer that. Well, you must know something. That's what those sessions were all about, to help him remember. And he told me that he remembered. He said that he killed someone, and he would certainly remember why he did it. Alicia, I'm sorry. I can only tell you that he loves you. You can ask me a thousand times, but I can't tell you any more than that. I wish I could. Have you talked to him? I pleaded with him. No matter what I say, he's determined to pay for what he's done. Hi, there's room over here at the counter, friend. Uh, you know what? I think I'll just take that table over there, Colonel. Right, yeah. This whole thing is impossible. If you can't help Colton, who can? If I knew, I'd find that person. Colton did kill Frisco accidentally. Or if he did do it in a way that he didn't know what he was doing, then somebody has to speak up. Felicia, I can't be the one. I can't tell anyone what I know unless Colton lets me. Why? It's okay, Prunie. Don't worry about it. I'll get this one. My oath is a doctor. Seen that guy hanging around the complex. What's he do? Oh, he's a writer, and he does a bit of this and a bit of that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just calm down. Don't get excited. Why are you still in Port Charles? I ordered you home yesterday. I'm leaving today. I've already got my reservations. I don't understand the delay. <laughs> Look, I cannot let Colton Shore die for something that he didn't do. Don't you understand that? I warn you, do not get involved. Look, I promise I won't. <laughs> But before I go, there's something that I have to do. Yes. If you want to complete the portfolio, I suggest you buy another thousand shares of the same stock. Right. Uh -huh. She can do this to me. I won't let her get away with it. I'll show her. I'm not going to let her ruin my life. What are you doing here? Father is as bad as she is for falling for it. He accuses me of wanting power. Why can't he see what she's doing? Olivia, stop it. I don't want you here. I thought I made that clear. I didn't come here to fight with you. You shouldn't have come here at all. I told you last night I don't want to have anything more to do with you. You were upset. I didn't take anything you said seriously. Well, then I guess I'll just have to say it again. Can't you see that I need a friend right now? Duke's turned against me. Now my own father. You're the only person I can talk to. I am not your friend. And I don't want to have to say this to you again. I want you out of my life, and I want you to stay out. Don't you order me around. How am I supposed to get through to you? If you want to make my life difficult, that's just fine with me. I can ruin yours. Or are you forgetting? I'm the one person that can destroy any chance you have of winning Robert Scorpio. I can't forget that. And that is exactly why I want you as far away from me as possible. I should have told Robert about being in love with Julian a long time ago. Well, I'd be happy to save you the pain and tell him for you. <sighs> Olivia, just leave. I have to go and meet Robert and Robin, and I am not going to let you turn me into a nervous wreck. Oh, yes, darling little Robin. No doubt you intend to play mommy. Robin is moving in with Robert, and God forbid you should ever get near her. Get out. Now. I won't bother you again. <laughs> 